Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Cynthia and today's video is a flip through of these two journals that I've created. Uh, if this video is up, it means that these journals are up on my Etsy for sale. Uh, I'm just trying something new this time, but of course, if you have any feedback on what you prefer, uh, just let me know uh, if you prefer to have a little bit of um, kind of like a heads up, I guess, on when they will be for sale, or if you just prefer, I just put them up for sale whenever they're ready. Uh, let me know what works best for you. Um, but with that said, um, I did include some videos on my channel about these journals on making ephemera. So if you've missed these videos, they are in a playlist called Etsy. Uh, so if you're curious on uh, a little bit to know more, a little bit um, on how I created some of the pieces that are in here, feel free to go check that out. Otherwise, I will get started. Um, I am going to start with this one right here and then move on to the next. Uh, they are fairly similar. The sizing is just a little bit different. This one is a little bit um, not quite as tall, but it's a little bit thicker and um, well, then this one is a little bit taller, but <laughs> the spine is not quite as thick. Uh, however, they do have a very similar amount of pages and types of papers and ephemera included in them. Um, all that information will be listed in the descriptions for the Etsy uh, listing. So, uh, of course, that link is also going to be in the description box. And so we can get started with this first journal here. I was so excited to use this piece of fabric here that you see that makes up the cover. Uh, I collaged it onto a different piece of fabric and then um, with this little polka dot fabric as well. Uh, I'm not sure what this piece of fabric particularly was. I'm guessing it must have been some sort of hanky or a uh, perhaps a tablecloth. I'm not too sure. It was quite damaged, but I just loved the roughness of it like you can see uh, it's a little bit aged in a bunch of different spots but I think that's what makes the beauty of it and then uh, as a closure I just have that uh, ribbon all around it that you can just kind of unwrap uh, and there is quite a bit of room to grow so this way as your journal gets bigger you can still have uh, enough fabric to to wrap around the journal and then here on the spine, you can see my binding. There is four uh, different signatures in here and they are binded, bond, bonded <laughs> uh, with a, um, a waxed thread. And then I did some sewing all around the edges of the journal, um, both at the front and the back. And then on this side here as well, just like that. And then when you open up the journal, uh, this is the first page here. You have a little pocket. Uh, you'll find tons of ephemera and little things that I've created in here uh, just to kind of spark your creativity. These journals were inspired a little bit by the sea. Uh, and I guess what the sea means to me and everything that it um, that is associated with the sea to me. So it isn't quite... Um, like a super nautical type of team theme but um i just love how like temperamental and uh, filled with love and unknown and uh, inspiration really the sea is so uh, water is actually where i'm most at peace uh, if i'm able to be by the water sit by the water whether it is like at the sea or um just by a lake or by a river that's truly what I find is most uh, inspiring to me. So I'm kind of, that's kind of what I, I poured into these journals and just that feeling of hope and love and um, really just infinity in a way because we just don't know where the sea ends truly. So, so yeah, um, here you have just a couple pieces of ephemera. There's a little sailor here from an old book um and then this little card that i created with a library card and has some vintage wallpaper so you can use that for some journaling or perhaps introducing yourself to the journal or whatever you may wish of course 
And then um, I have lots of different printables in here. Some are from Ruby and Pearl XO and some are from Adesta Roses. So I'll have everything listed in the description box as always. I also have um, lots of pretty vintage papers from Atlas or uh, different kind of um, dictionaries or enc encyclopedias and whatnot. and different types of dyed papers. So some cabbage dyed papers, uh, coffee dyed papers, and uh, I don't think I have avocado dyed paper in this one, but I believe I do in the other journal. So here you have this little vintage piece of tool with embroidered fleur de lis. I just love these so much. <laughs> and then this here is some vintage book pages. This is from a uh, Girl Guides book that Janae sent me in the mail and I just absolutely loved uh, that she found that and I wanted to include a little bit of that in, in these journals. And some pretty um, ribbon ruffles. So this one here is a, a chiffon ribbon and then I also have some sari silks and some little tabs. have some ephemera here. If you're curious to see what's in here, uh, I do have a video on making this, so feel free to go check that out. Uh, but I will. <laughs> I will open it up. And there's these little charms. Card here. And then some little places where you can journal or collage and some other little bits and pieces, journaling card, a um, vintage image from a book of a ship. It just gets tucked right in here. So this one here is just floating in here. You could add it to a pocket or um, pin it to one of the pages as you wish, or use it on its own uh, kind of separately. It's a vintage postcard, just so beautifully aged. Just love these colors. This is a travel lodge, uh, travel log. Um, vintage page. I just love it with the ship. I thought it was so pretty. All of the printables that I have in here are printed um, outsourced, like I don't have a printer at home. Um, and most of them are on a parchment paper, but some of them are always all, also on some regular uh, copy paper. And then here, just a little journaling card. This one right here, this is another journaling card. There's a little lady. And then um, there is, when you open it up, you have a little pocket here and there's um, just some more journaling space. Uh, oh, and this is a piece of a vintage wallpaper. You can just hide whatever you wish in here. I love anything that can be hidden and it just feels kind of mysterious and special. And I just tie it with a little bow. The ribbon is attached on here and I do have a video on how I created this. And then here is a little slide in pocket with a little handmade tag. Uh, it has a vintage cigar label here. I just love these so much. And just sewed around and then you've got some journaling space. And this is a mute part of a music um, kind of booklet, I guess. Music booklet cover. This was the back side of it. 
so it's quite brutal so uh, some of the pages in here are so you just have to be a little bit more careful but I did reinforce them at the spine of course so that they wouldn't rip and just beautiful uh, ships here I just love this image so much And then this little vintage envelope that we've altered. I do have a video on how I did that. And um, as you open it, of course, here you have a little pocket. And then there's some more uh, goodies in here. Journaling cards, some vintage uh, playing cards, and a little tea card. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I like this. And it just goes around. Like that. And some vintage book pages and tickets, little tabs. This is some vintage uh, ledger paper. This one is quite thick. It's really nice. It has some beautiful writing. So you can see here from uh, 1940. And then, oh, this is some avocado dyed paper actually. Um, and it is like a, a doodle paper and it had the lines on there to practice writing. And um, I didn't put it in the dye very long. So you're able to kind of retain those, those lines. Otherwise they can fade quite quickly. So I just love that. And then some printables. A little card. And that's it for this journal. So at the back here, you could definitely add a pocket if you wished. You can also kind of tuck. I like to, I really enjoy uh, seeing the fabric kind of flapped over and you can really tuck things in here as well. So uh, just an idea. And of course I'll go back and place everything really nicely. I'll insert some um, some close-ups at the end of the video and then for this journal here so this one here is covered with a, a vintage I want to say this is probably a sheet um, and then I added here uh, there was like a little um, detailing on the print but then I added a, a vintage lace on here and I just love that extra texture that it offers uh, for some reason these colors and pattern just like it made me think of like um perhaps like an old ship and it just felt very romantic to me and I just love everything that feels very romantic and um as I've mentioned the sea does feel pretty romantic to me <laughs> um and here again, some more of that little polka dot fabric. And when you open this one up, so you have another little pocket here and it has uh, this little handmade envelope with some little goodies in here, um, a little journaling card and this little fish. I just love him. So sweet. <laughs> And back he goes in here. There's quite a bit of room in this pocket to add whatever you wish. And then some vintage book pages. This one here is French. And of course some dyed papers, so cabbage dyed, uh, coffee dyed, tea dyed, and avocado dyed. And 
another little journaling card and this here is a piece of a vintage wallpaper with some ribbons of course and here uh, this would be the kind of equivalent I guess of uh, that other little booklet I had so this one here um, I didn't tie it properly <laughs> but um, when you open it up then you have a little pocket with some little labels uh, a little wax seal and then some embossed paper that can hold whatever ephemera that you wish to add into here in the middle section here you have this really pretty uh, map this one is a printable i've been trying to get better at aging my prints and i've really been enjoying that process and here's some little piece of washi and this little vintage image i just love this little lady and that gets tucked into a piece of an embossed paper from uh, this is from heather from rose hill paper i'll link everything down below of different um different creators in the community that i've used their um, their creations or that i've purchased from and this is another little journaling card and some more ruffles this is another piece of the uh, Girl Scout <laughs> little book and again a handmade tag with a little cigar at label this little journaling card so uh, similar to the other one this one has a little hidden pocket and it holds another piece of that vintage wallpaper and some uh, vintage tickets in here and here is a little envelope in which you'll find some other little goodies and it just wraps around some music sheets I love this printable so much this one is from Dust of Roses I just um, and I know she's coming out with I don't know if it's out yet but it will be that same one but in a different color and I'm so excited I, when I saw that she included it in a new kit I was like yes I need this in all the possible colors and the other side of this And then there's another piece of that, a really beautiful vintage, um, and it's thicker, this ledger paper. So again, with that really pretty writing. And here's a vintage envelope. So you get a little tuck spot here. On the other side, you could also tuck something in the back and it has some little goodies in here. Just loads of stuff, so. And then a piece of that book page. I just love these images so much. A little journaling card with a little tuck spot at the front. And some tracing paper. And that's it for this one. Again, you could also uh, tuck many things in here and here's the back again 
And again, I'll insert some uh, close-ups of these two journals at the end of the video. But I thank you all so much for joining me today. I hope that you love these journals as much as I do. Truly, it was so much fun creating them and I had been wanting to uh, create something that was kind of inspired by the sea and well whatever it means for me <laughs> but it was such a pleasure to to be able to experiment with these and um, I'm really happy to be able to share them with you so if you have any questions comment down below also if you do like what I've created here uh, leave me a thumbs up it does really encourage me and uh, it does help my channel quite a bit I thank you all so much for your support and for showing up every time I upload a video and I will talk to you in my next one. Take care until then and uh, see you soon.